Hi, uh, this is Battlecraft, the project I've been working on. And in the last video, I showed uh, some multiplayer functionality, um, real-time strategy, basic mechanics, controls, artificial intelligence, a bit of that, oh, and a bit of the building mechanics. Uh, in this video, I want to show some more boring stuff. The Lockstep Database Manager. The Lockstep, the Lockstep Database Manager is a tool for uh, creating and managing data. And the reason why I, I made this tool is because I'm getting to the point in, in the project where uh, I need to create content efficiently, um, the content creation stage. So I, uh, I made this tool to help out with that. It's a big upgrade from what I did previously, which was uh, keep all the data inside a prefab instead of a scriptable object and, uh, and serialize everything edit everything with Unity's raw serialization. It was awful because things constantly got wiped or um, reordered or, or getting, I'm, I was getting no reference exceptions uh, sometimes and it was awful. Uh, <laughs> but um, this is a lot more reliable and instead of having, being able to, uh, instead of keeping everything inside resources, I can keep it inside where I want. Um, and it's a single path uh, very direct, no room for error. And it has these neat, uh, helpful mini tools, um, mini utilities that that uh, just help me find things. For example, I can type in Starbase, Starbase stops, pops up to the top uh, carrier, same thing. Um, order, order everything alphabetically uh, by units first, buildings first. Another cool feature of this database manager is that it allows me to generate enumerations from data item names and uh, how this helps me is it allows me to construct an easy drop down menu from a uh, numeration field for example agent code uh, which find it this is the generated code um, and this in this way uh, instead of for example dragging a game object onto a field to serialize it I can easily uh, just pick one from the drop-down menu and I'll easily access the metadata as well. For example, the icon, the description, etc. Generating a new element in the enumeration is just a matter of creating a new data item. Uh, for example, pizza carrier, and then let's give this a carrier object. And click apply, and the little circle thing runs, and in a bit, it shows up. Uh, as you can see, Pizza Carrier is on the bottom. I can type in P and it automatically highlights it. And uh, from there, I can, yeah, I can select Pizza Carrier, store that as a in the variable, and reference uh, this data item. Get the nice name, the description, and the icon, um, and of course the game object. And in that way, oops. In uh, that way, I I very I very uh, efficiently serialize all of this. Um, into the build node. So I actually don't want Pizza Carrier uh, because it's not a, it's not a desirable agent. So I'm going to remove this just by clicking this minus button and then click apply again. And uh, anytime now, voila! Um, as you can see, Pizza Carrier is no longer there. Uh, it's no longer part of the list of data. So the other data item that can be serialized is uh, script data item, and these are auto-generated, as you can see, unlike uh, agents or uh, effects or projectiles. The ability data item doesn't have a plus or remove button, and that's because these are generated automatically. Um, they can't be there. There's one for each class inheriting from the ability class. Uh, so everything inheriting from this guy. Uh, is ha has one of uh, has a data item specifically for it, and it can get its corresponding data item by sending in its uh, its type. For example, the move the move ability uh, would go would send in type this dot get type, um, and out comes an ability data item, and it, it gets access to all this nice information. Here's a little example of the database system in action. Uh, as you can see, the uh, data item for the move ability, uh, the marker type is set to aggressive. And that means that the 
marker marker for move will be red. Color of it is red because red symbolizes aggression, uh, and the move command, the move abilities marker type is aggressive. So I'm going to get out of runtime, uh, go back to editing the move ability data item, and set this to friendly. So now, as you can see, soon the marker type will be green because green is the universal symbol for friendly unless it's poison then it's not friendly uh, but yeah so I'm gonna get out of runtime and that's pretty much it uh, concerning the the database uh, how it works and what it does now actually here is how it works um, uh, a lot of it, a lot of the lockstep database manager is based on uh, scriptable objects. This this implementation right here. So scriptable objects as databases in Unity is uh, it, it's an article on using scriptable objects as a database in Unity. Um, and this guy uh, from Bergsorg Arcade provides a really great video overview of how powerful uh, something like this can be, um, and the example code really helped me out because at the beginning I had no idea how script objects worked, um, but but by the end of reading all this, uh, looking through, finding the important parts, it, it really helped me um, solidify my understanding of, of yeah how to use script objects as databases in Unity. So the gist of it, this is to um, save and load a script object with asset database dot create asset slash save asset, um, and then use a bunch of serialized properties and serialized fields, a bunch of uh, Unity um, editor UI stuff uh, to make this happen. Um, and I also learned how to use editor windows through this guy's uh, source code. The next resource I used was uh, Rotors' Rearable List Editor Field, which was, it was amazing. Um, it helped me with like a big chunk of uh, creating these really, I think, good looking uh, lists that I can add, subtract from, um, with a bunch of options. Another tool I found very useful was uh, also by Rotors, the, uh, the sorry, one second, um, class type reference, which was, uh, this is what's used to um, serialize the scripts, the classes. For example, in uh, the ability to serialize uh, that this uh, the move dead item goes with the move uh, class. So those are the external resources I used to uh, create the lockstep database manager. And um, the Rotors' uh, tools are all open source, which is great. So um, if I wanted to, like, maybe one day release this as an asset, I could, I could with uh, Rotors' with Rotors' code, which is uh, really professional, um, definitely definitely uh, cleaner than mine, and very extensible. Well, that's all I wanted to go over, so thanks for watching, and happy developing.